All right, and it reads verses uh, 9 through 16 of chapter 10, Acts. It reads, On the morrow, as they went on their journey and drew nigh unto the city, Peter went up unto the housetop yeah. to pray about the sixth hour. And he became very hungry. Amen. And would have eaten, but while they made ready, he fell into a trance. Yes. And saw heaven open, and a certain vessel descending yes, upon him, Thank you, Lord. as it had been a great sheet knit at the four corners, Amen. let down on the earth. Amen. Wherein were all manner of four-footed beasts on of the earth, mm -hmm. wild beasts and creeping things and fowls of the air. Yeah. And there came a voice to him, Rise, Peter, kill and eat. Yes, sir. Peter said, No, Lord. Amen. Not so, Lord. For I have never eaten, never eaten anything that is common or unclean. That's what he said. And the voice spake unto him again the second time. That's right. Mm -hmm. What God has cleansed, right, mm -hmm. thou call not thou common. Hallelujah, Jesus. This was done three times. Why everything got to be done three times with people? I don't know if about that. I don't know how many times things got to be done with us. That's the only conversation in there. Yeah. This was done three times, and the yes, vessel Father, was Father. received up again Amen. into heaven. Father, help us understand your word. Yes, Father. Mm -hmm. Because, Father, there are some changes we need to make even in our own lives. Yes, help this pastor, Father. Yes, yes. Yeah. Help your servant, Father. Yeah. Do your will. Yes. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You Amen. may be seated. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. Lord. If there's one thing that is constant, that is change. Mm -hmm. That is the old statement. Mm -hmm. and we are going to use that today as our uh, theme today. For there is one thing constant, that is change. Amen. Amen. You know, I told us to say that God can change even the hearts of people. And sometimes we, we think about that. We want to think about everybody else but ourselves. Amen. Surely I am not in that category we like to say. Not me. The pastor can't be talking about me. In fact, I think I'm going to take me a little nap because this message isn't even for me. All right, now. But rest assured, I promise you that yeah. you keep living in this life and you will find yeah, things man. that you don't want to change. That's yeah. right. That's right, man. I like Adidas. Yeah. That's my thing. I wear Adidas when I, no matter what I do, if yeah. I just want to be active wear, yeah. I wear Adidas tennis shoes, I'm wearing Hallelujah. Adidas shirt. Hallelujah. That's just me because I've been doing it ever since breakdancing days. Yeah. You know, that's my big old self breakdancing. <laughs> Yeah. But I wouldn't always be, but yeah. Make a difference. All the way back then when I had my first pair of shell toe Adidas, I've been wearing Adidas ever since. You oh, try to put God. Nike in my path, uh -huh. and I'm going to say thank you. Because <laughs> I'm going to appreciate the fact that you blessed me. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you knew I wear Adidas only. Yeah. And then I knew you was just messing with me. Yeah. <laughs> There's always something that we like mm -hmm. that we don't want to get rid of. Right. Yes. Just in case you didn't know, us church folk are good at it. We are good for it. We, we, we something else. Let us mess with the church order. Boy, some of us going to have a fit. Lord have mercy. The pastor done lost he done fell off his rocker because he done got off the order that we supposed to be following in the church. Let somebody come in here in a t-shirt and some cut-off shorts to sit down for worship on Sunday. Somebody up in here going to be like, what, what you going? What you got going on? What, what, what you, did you, 
No, you, you must have been to go down there somewhere because oh, not here at the church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because we, we dress up in here. We we gonna we gonna wear blouse and we gonna wear a dress and we're gonna wear a skirt and men are gonna wear suits and we're gonna wear ties. See, we, we don't do that up in, in here, up in here. We don't do that. So all of us, if we really think about it, we got that one of three things that is tough for us to get over. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, yes. I want you to know that we're not alone. Thank you, Amen. Amen. Even way back when, we had some folk that couldn't give up sometimes. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Even way back then. Yeah. But I want to tell you that if the church is ever going to grow, uh -huh. if the church is ever going to see progress, right. 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 there's going to be change. No, 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 yeah. no. I didn't say the word changes. Yeah. So the word doesn't change. God is the move immutable. But the word about the word change. But some of the things that we have taken on in church, God never gave it to us in the first place. Right. Right. We did it because we decided this is what we thought it should be. You know, if you go, let me talk about dress for a minute. If you we go to some of the country churches, you'll find out they don't even wear suits. Because they, they they in the country. Right. They got to get out here and plow land. Right. They got to get out here and be planting all this, this soil and dirt. The last thing they thinking about is suits. The last thing they're thinking about is dresses. You might get a man put on his wrangle of jeans and his cowboy boots and his, and his checker top and, and throw on his cowboy hat and he dressed for charity. Yep. <laughs> Do we want to turn them around because of the fact they don't look like us? Even on first, first Sunday is one of the most traditional Sundays of the, of the month because of the fact we have a we have white tablecloths over the, over the the uh, communion table. And, and you bet not, you bet not, you bet not move them and not bother them white tablecloths because you know. You know, you, you know you're out of order. Yeah. Not realizing that these white tablecloths weren't there when Jesus was giving communion. Uh -huh. Not realizing that in all honesty, they, they started out tablecloths or, or coverings because there weren't always air conditions. And y'all know the old song, Heist Up the Windows and Open Up the Doors. They would let more than Jesus in yeah. during that time. There were gnats and mosquitoes and, and flies were coming in. And that little homemade bread that they used to make back then, them flies used to love it. So what they ended up doing was finding a way to cover. Somebody gonna walk with me in a minute. To cover that bread. this bread up and this wine up. So that nothing would get on it. Uh -huh. Then it went from that to being white, and now the white is holy. And now, if you bother with it, and there's a speck of dirt on it, now you know you must be ain't clean in the church yeah. if dirt is on the white. So hold on, now. Where did all this come from? Because I ain't seen none of this anywhere right. Right. in the Word. I know I'm messing with somebody right now. Just pray with me. Just pray with me. Pray with me. We have to understand that there's some things. Uh -huh. That it's okay to have order in. Uh -huh. But I say over and over again, if the order supersedes the spirit, yeah. then we're out of order. Yeah. We're out of order. Uh -huh. I don't worry, church. I'm not going to tell y'all not to put the white tape cloths on. We still will have a white tape cloths. Amen. Amen. They're not doing that. Sister Ezra makes sure she works hard to get this table right. And I thank God for her getting these white gloves. She even got past her some good, strong white gloves that fit him. And I thank you. That's right. I'm not telling you I'm going to mess with everything. But I'm just simply saying when God does decide to move in order, don't get mad. Because there's progress involved. If God decides to change something for the church, he's not changing. But the church is changing. The people are changing. Then we might want to take heed to the change because it's important. 
Amen. During this particular time, maybe four or five years after uh, the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, we had such an opportunity, an important opportunity here. Because you remember Jesus said that uh, this, this word, this witness, and this soul in it was going to move from Judea and Sam uh, 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 Samaria to all of the other parts of the earth. Yes, yes. But what they didn't realize is at some point it's going to have to move outside of the That's Jews. Right. That's right. At some point, what? What? Thank you, Lord. it was going to have to mess with their lifelong theology of what they knew. Are you walking with me? That's right. That's right. At some point, it was going to have to move away from what the Old Testament has been has they been right. attempting to follow all their lives yes. into a, a new way that we were going to have to look at things. Now, I don't recall ever God putting people down, but I tell you what, we know how to do it though. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I know, I know, you know, there are some people that God said, look, yeah, we're gonna give them bow, they don't. But but there was a reason for those folks that had to But the Jews had to took it a step further. Calling anybody that was not Jews dogs. Somebody better walk with me. In other words, I know y'all don't want to believe this, but there was some prejudice in the Jewish community. And, 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 and black folks, we understand what prejudice is, don't we? Yeah, we 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 experience those being prejudiced against us. There was not always a time that whites and blacks got along and truth be told, we still got a lot of work we have to do in this field. There's still prejudice going on, even today. But don't you think, black folk, that the white folk are the only ones that are prejudiced? We got a lot of prejudice right here, even with the black folk. Black folk prejudice against the white folk. Light-skinned people are prejudiced against the dark-skinned people. It's probably just me. I'm probably making this stuff up, but I don't think I am. Yeah, we, we, we know on both sides of the coin what being prejudiced is, is all about. If you don't look like me, come on, Pastor. Then obviously you ain't who where you need to be. Yeah. We even prejudice in the pocketbook. How you be prejudiced in the pocketbook? I got money and you don't. You don't need to be around me. You heard that? And if that ain't bad enough, us broke folk don't want to deal with the folk that got some money either. They think they too good. Too good. I'm laughing, but you know this is a serious situation. Because we see this all the time in our lives. But Peter is dealing with this right now. Because Peter was a stout, devout, strong Jew. He grew up not dealing at all with anybody outside of the Jewish culture. He grew up understanding what it was concerning the Old Testament on the laws. He tried to follow those 613 laws that the Bible spoke on. He understood that you could not move outside of that. You couldn't eat the spare ribs and uh, those chitterlings and uh, you could do those type things. I'm over already. <laughs> me too. Me too, Deacon. He, 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 he stuck with the goat and he stuck with the yeah. lamb. And, yeah, I don't know. Did they have chicken back there then? Yeah, yeah. They said it was some black folks, so I'm assuming there was some chicken back there. <laughs> yeah. well, that's the side of it. That's the side of it. So, the point that I'm saying is yeah. <laughs> that, that he stuck with the food. Yeah. That the Bible said to eat over according to Leviticus the 11th chapter. But he hung 
hung out with Jesus. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And he saw Jesus change yes. those who were Jews, change yes. those who were Gentiles also. Yes. Uh -huh. But in his mind, yes. he didn't still get it. No. We still got the same issue in church. Yeah. We see how the church is thriving because they made one or three changes here and there, but no, we don't stick to what we got uh -huh. going on right here. Yeah. They ain't doing anything wrong, but you know, this is what I like. Yeah. Yeah. We can't make this change because we got to have order. We got to have tradition. We got to move straight according to what we already have. Right direction been in existence 26 years. Not 2,026 years. Nope, 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 so nope, some nope. of the things we might even do probably could be a little. All right, yeah. We could get a little overhaul yeah, uh -huh. on some things. Yeah. We're not the only one church. Yeah. Uh, All the churches out there yeah. can have a little overhaul. That's right. Make a few changes yeah. so yeah. we can at least get a little bit progressive yeah. in our nature. Yeah. Yeah. When we're trying to do some things, we, yes, we're trying to make some changes, yeah. we, at least on some social media, yeah. when before we might not have been on any social media. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. that's right, that's right. But there's still so far we have to go. Uh -huh. yeah. Not just right direction, Hallelujah. but just the church in general. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So there's three things I want yeah. us to get yeah. today. And it's not going to be hard, three things. I, I promise I won't be before you long. I don't have a clock back there, so I think we should be out by 250, 255, somewhere like that. The three things I want us to get, number one, is God's request. Uh -huh. Amen. A deacon said he's going to make sure I stay up on the time. <laughs> <laughs> so we won't go too, too long. <laughs> number one, God's request. Number two, Peter's response. Uh -huh. And then number three, God's rebuttal. God's request, Peter's response, mm -hmm. and then God's rebuttal. Mm -hmm. That's what we're going to deal with today in the scripture. Take a look at the scripture with me in Acts the 10th chapter, verse 9. He starts out saying on the morrow, which means something had to happen the day before. That's right. That's he says on the morrow, it just simply means the next day. Amen. Tomorrow. We call it tomorrow. Yeah. But it, he's talking about the next day. So yeah. what happened the day before? Well, the, the day before, there was this, this centurion by the name of Cornelius. That's Have right. you ever heard of Cornelius? That's right. That's right. Have you ever heard of Cornelius? Right. Yeah, he was, he was a, an important man. Yeah. Yeah. He was a Roman centurion. Right. Mm -hmm. Just a fancy well. word for a leader, a soldier who was a leader over a hundred men. That's what yeah. the word means, centurion. Yeah. Yeah. He was a that's centurion, right. and that's what he did. Now, a centurion was very dedicated. They were very disciplined, yeah. very right. disciplined. And, and it had to be because they had to run an outfit of a hundred men under them. That's right. That's right. That's so it's right. important to understand that, you know, that he knew what discipline was. Amen. Right. Now, here's the thing about Cornelius. Cornelius was, of course, a Gentile. He That's was right. a That's Roman. Right. He was not a Jew. But no, yet, God. he believed in God and followed yes. a lot of the laws of God. <laughs> The Jewish yep. belief or the see. Jewish culture. Mm -hmm. yeah. Probably because he was a structured man. That's right. You ever seen somebody just structured? Yeah. They had to have a way of doing things. Yeah. He yeah. was a structured man. And you have to be in his position. Let me tell you something interesting about this, though. He is one of five centurions that was mentioned in the Bible. Amen. And all yeah. five of those centurions, they were Roman soldiers. That's right. They people know the Romans for being bad because why they hung Jesus on the cross and things like that. But in all honesty, those five centurions that were mentioned, they were all in a favorable light when they were mentioned. In the That's Bible. right. None of them was mentioned in a negative way. Amen. Which is interesting because if you take a look at the Pharisees, mm. who should have been mentioned in a favorable light, they were always mentioned in a negative light. Amen. Okay? These centurions, these, these five centurions, it's important for you to understand this. Uh, sometimes we forget. We forget that there are good people all over. Amen. Yeah. Get case in point. Amen. I know y'all y'all gonna y'all gonna follow me in a minute, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. We see all the things that are on the television. Mm -hmm. We shooting people and killing people. Yeah. Yeah. We understand what happened in Minnesota a few years back and you know, we got all these these bad uh, this bad light on police officers, uh -huh. not realizing that not all police officers. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. 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 Amen.
Because you have those who do wrong. That's right. Yep. Doesn't mean they all do, no, do wrong. Right. Hallelujah. It's interesting how we're ready to take out the police yeah. mm -hmm. until somebody trying to rob our house. Mm -hmm. right, Daddy. Come on down. <laughs> until well, somebody well, trying to kill us. Yeah, yeah, we, we want to do, we want to look at them bad and we want to do this and do that and do the other. Yeah. Not understanding that, you know, that even though there are some bad police, there are also yeah. some yeah. good. So the scripture, it, it, it talks about Cornelius and Cornelius uh, got a vision. And the vision was simply an angel coming to him and telling him there's going to be somebody coming to your house. Okay, and this is important because this wasn't just, you got to understand, this wasn't just for the, for the uh, house of Cornelius. This wasn't for the Gentiles to have proof of them. But right. this is for Peter also. Right, right. Because Peter, remember, was a staunch Jew. That's right. He didn't believe in dealing with anybody outside of the that's Jewish right. culture. That's right. And that's important for you to understand. So he get, so Cornelius gets this message from God. Obviously, he knows it's God. Yeah. It's interesting because Cornelius believed right away, even though the scripture later on says when Peter got his vision, mm -hmm. he doubted. It. But that's, that's right. a whole different conversation. Yeah. We'll come back to that in a minute. <laughs> so the next day, Okay, now, he got his the day before. Cornelius got his about 3 o'clock the day before. Mm -hmm. Then the next day, Peter now gets a vision in a trance. That's right. That's now, right. Let, let's take a look here now because this is important. Let's take, a look at, let's take a look at God's request here. It says, Peter went up on the housetop to pray about the six hours. That's noon time. Mm -hmm. Right. All right. And he became very hungry. That's right. Now, first of all, there's a couple of things I want you to get. Number one, don't pray if you don't really want an answer. Mm -hmm. Amen. Did you hear what I just said? Amen. Say it again. Do not pray Amen. if you don't really want an answer. Mm -hmm. Amen. Don't be going to God praying about stuff and you got your mindset on what you want it to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because his answer is not always going to be what you want. Right. Amen. Did you get that? Amen. His, 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 his answer may not always agree with your theology. Yes. His answer may not always agree with your order. Amen. His answer yes. may not always agree with your tradition. Uh -huh. Did you follow me with that? Uh -huh. Then always follow that way. So when you pray, be ready for the answer. So he prays on this housetop. Waiting on them to be ready so he can do what they got to do. And verse 10 says that he became hungry. Now he became very hungry. The Bible says. Now it's unusual that the Bible says he became very hungry. It's 12 o'clock. Nine times out of 10 he had already eaten some fish. I'm just saying it's probably yeah. 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 Right? He even had something to eat. But at noontime, he's now become very hungry. Even at my worst, even if I didn't have breakfast, at noontime, I'm not very hungry. Amen. I'm probably fair to middle, yeah. but I'm not very hungry. Yeah. But he's yeah. very hungry here. Yeah. And the scripture goes on to say, um, uh, and would have eaten, but while they made ready, he fell into a trance. Mm -hmm. In other words, he went somewhere else. God took him somewhere else That's in this particular right. case. Right. And the Bible says in verse 11, and he saw heaven open. Yeah. And a certain vessel came down. And it brought all these different animals. Mm -hmm. Obviously, animals he is not accustomed to dealing right. with. That's right. Now, obviously. Okay? So he goes on. This is God's request now. He, he, these, they come down and all the men of these four-footed beasts yeah. on earth and yeah. creeping things and fowls of the air. Yeah. And there came a voice to him. This is the request. He says, Peter, why don't you go get some meat? That's get some more meat. Rise. Right. <laughs> and eat. Jesus said, not on your life. So God brings to him something God knows. That's right. Peter that's, that's right. That's right. That's right. How many times have you gotten yeah. upset with folk, Lord, Lord, Lord. even though you know God, you know God brought something to you, right, right, but you didn't want to change? That's it. There's a lot of us that we don't want to change because we just like it the way we like it. This is the way it has always been. We've been going along these 26 years. Some churches, we've been going along this 
50 years. Some yeah. churches, we've been going along this 75 years. There's no sense in changing now. But then you wonder why it's just us for no more. Yeah. <laughs> because we don't want to make the changes that are needed to be made. This particular change was very important yes, because did. this change was going to catapult yeah. God is going to catapult yeah. Jesus to all over the world. Yeah. It was going to move him from out of one section right. which was just a Jew yeah. to now being able to be a part of also the Gentiles. A few scriptures, a few Amen. verses before the yeah. chapter. So before then, it had already gotten to the Samaritans. That's right. That's right. Now, it's getting to the straight up yes, down home Gentile. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, 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 and his request was in this transfer, uh, Peter, to look at these animals. The animals he did not believe in. The animals he did not eat. The animals he wouldn't have even touched. And God himself in this trance says, why don't you eat something? God told you. Thank you, Jesus. And as I said earlier, Peter said, oh, no, Lord. That's what he's told No, Lord, I don't do that. No, Lord, I, I don't do that. No, this is Peter's response. This is Peter's response. No, Lord. No, God, we ain't going to do that here now because, you know, all my life I've been eating, eating this right here. No, this can't be God. This can't be God. Because this going against everything I believe in. Just because you believe in it don't mean it's God. Right. right. What you say? I just said so y'all be over there. Just because you believe in it doesn't mean that it's God. It just means you believe in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to move on because I can get in trouble right now. You see, I told you earlier that Leviticus was clear. Don't eat any unclean animals. But you, you, you have to understand yes. that this was not Thank you, this was not a lesson in animals. Yeah. <laughs> this is a lesson in people. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, now I can imagine yes, Peter sitting up there, mm -hmm. looking at all these pigs go by. Yes. And I believe that's the first time the rib was introduced in the imagination that, that God showed Peter what could be done with the pig. Oh, that slab of ribs right there on the grill with some with, with a slather of, 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 of barbecue sauce. I believe that was the first vision of, of a real sandwich in my little mind. But let me have my imagination. And y'all have y'all's, all right? Three, three, five, <laughs> yeah, right, right. with three bones. That's right. <laughs> Take a look at verse 28. We're going to skip. Just go to verse 28 because I want to show you that it never was about animals. Take a look at verse 28. Same, same book, same chapter. Verse 28. It says, And he said unto them, Ye know how that it is a lawful, is a lawful thing for a man that is a Jew to keep company. That's right. This is what Peter was telling mm -hmm. Cornelius yeah. later on when he yeah. hear me. But, but, but God showed me That's right. yes, I know. I know. that I should not call any man common. Yes, sir. Okay, so we understand based on this verse that it never was about animals. That's yeah. exactly right. But it was about people. Go yes. back, go back to the yes. go back to the scripture, Holy. verse 14. He Holy. says. He says, no, Lord, not so, Lord, for I have never eaten any unthing, unclean thing that is uncommon or clean. Verse 15 says, and the voice spoke unto him again. Thank you, Lord. The second time. Uh -huh. That's right. That's right. They go hard-headed Peter. Hard-headed Peter. Yes, he is. The now he has to be said the same thing again. That's right. That's right. Some of us are hard-headed in the church today. No, 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 no. Uh -huh. God trying to tell us to make change. He's trying to tell us to go yes, to the is. next level. Yes, he He's trying to tell us to, it's time to make some progress. That's right. That's right. But when it's time to make the progress, we let every bit of tradition and order stunt our growth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Every bit of it. Yes, sir. 
When we God, allow God. that to happen, yeah. we miss people being saved. Amen. Right. There are people that God has God. set up Amen. to come to let's say the right direction. Yes, Amen. But because of our yeah. traditions yeah. and yeah. order, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 we have a hard time. Trying to get them to come. Now understand, I am not beating us down because I think we are a great church. We might do a few things that are still traditional, but I'm going to tell you something. I'm not saying all tradition is bad. I'm just sitting and saying that if we allow it to stunt our growth, then tradition becomes as bad as a good, strong camel cigarette. <laughs> the one that they didn't have filters on back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, 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 Peter's response was, no, Lord. But God's rebuttal was, what I call clean. You do not call clean. That's what he said. That's the scripture. And it's important for you to understand that. Yeah. And it was important for Peter to understand that. That's right. That's remember right. Jesus. Uh, remember Peter denied Jesus. How many times did he deny? Three, three times. And how did Jesus correct that? If you love me. Yeah, all right in that. He asked him what? Three times. Peter? Three times. Three times. Do you love me? That's right. That's right. Feed, my feed first. He said, feed my lambs. Then the last two times, all right now, Peter. Feed my sheep. Feed my sheep. See, anytime there's something of importance, yeah. Yeah. he will do it. He will say it three times. Hallelujah. This is one of those cases. Follow the church. This is one of those cases. Yeah. Because some of y'all got some friends right now that don't look like y'all. Right, they may be a different color than you are. Right. They may be of a different sector than you are. Right. They may like a, di a different agenda than you like. But yet God is trying to tell you to go to them and tell them about Jesus Christ. But you said, oh, no, Lord. I don't do that. No, Lord. They don't look like me. No, Lord. They go against your word. Of course they go against your word. They say. That's the whole purpose of seeing people saved in the first place. Amen. That's it. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Yeah. We cannot negate love from those we think is wrong. That's right. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah, Jesus. I'm going to let that sit there for a minute. Hallelujah, Jesus. Because I think we missed that. We, it's easy for us to love everybody that, that look like us, be like us, do things like we don't believe stop. in. Don't, don't stop. But then when it comes to people that don't do what we like. Uh-huh. That don't look like us. We got to still tell them about Christ. We got to still tell them about what Jesus did for us on the cross. We still have to tell them that they don't have to go to hell just like I didn't have to go to hell. Even if we have to remind ourselves that before God got a hold of us, we was going to hell in the handbasket too. We have to make a decision that we're not going to do what we used to do. But when God says, when I call clean, you will not call uncommon. You're not going to do it. You see, them animals might have was unclean. By the way, if y'all see me eating ribs, I wasn't born a Jew. I just want y'all to remember that. Look at y'all. I don't know what. I give you a bone. Don't worry. I got you. When you when you're dealing with the scripture, you have to deal with this God's rebuttal. God's rebuttal is simple. Don't call unclean the stuff I bring to you because if the blood. Is washed yeah. my blood, uh -huh. regenerated me. Yes, sir. Then what do you think it's gonna do to him? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Now understand, Peter still had no idea what was about to happen Amen. at this particular point. 
He had no idea about Cornelius. Uh -huh. All he knew was he saw some animals, he was hungry, but he wasn't going to eat them. Amen. Now I tell you what, you got to be right. something else do, do. in your belief system yeah. that you can be very hungry That's right. and say, I ain't eating I'm still serious. because that ain't part I'm of what I got. Serious. I am serious. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. No, no, no. So the scripture goes on to say, it goes on to say, he, that he told him three times. That's what it did. Verse 16. Thrice. And the vessel was received up again. Yeah. Yes, sir. So in other words, now the trance is over. That's right. And now Peter knew it was something that was going on. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Then yeah. he got it off. That's right. To go to Cornelius' house. All right, now. He didn't understand. When, Corn when he got in front of Cornelius, yeah. Cornelius all but bowed to yeah. him, basically. Amen. Amen. Respected him highly. That's right. That's Not right. because he was a Jew. No, 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 no. no. Not because of the fact he was a fisherman. All right, now. No. Not because he did all of what the law said to yeah. do over in the Old Testament. Right, right, right. Cornelius respected him because he knew he was sent by yes. God. Yes. That's why he respected yes. him. Yes, yes, amen. He amen. knew amen. that if God sent him, a change was going to come to them. That's right, that's right. And Peter understood oh, then that there was going to be a change that was going to come amen. for them. Amen. Amen. You see how we ready to take the change that's needed to see this gospel Thank taken all Lord. over the world. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Are we ready to accept the changes Amen. we're going to have to make ourselves within ourselves Hallelujah. for us to be the soul winners that God has called us to be? You see, this is my question. Are we just going to just wallow in the same field yeah. that we've been wallowing in oh, no. and not see a change no. simply because this is all I know? Oh, or are we going to make a decision yeah. to see people saved no matter what? I'm going to tell you a secret. God never told you uh -huh. to go clean anybody. That's right. Uh -huh. That's right. That's right. That's right. It has never been what we're called to do. Uh, it's never been. You can't make somebody do something that you think they should do. Amen. That's it. Yes, sir. First of all, you don't know what God has planned for them for that's their right. walking. That's right. Uh -huh. That's right. Yeah. So that's the first thing we need to grab. Yeah. The very thing that you had a past from uh -huh. is the very thing God could use to, in your future yeah. for souls to be saved. Yeah. 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 And the very things that they had going on in their lives yeah. is yeah. the very same thing that could be used to see people saved in their future. Yes, sir. We have to stop thinking that we're called to do the change. We're called to bring the change. Yeah. Uh -huh. That is the word of God. We're called to bring the change. That is Jesus. We're called to bring the change. That is salvation. Amen. After that, Amen. the only thing we're called to do is making sure that they are in somewhere that they need to be to give the word of God on the record. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And not always that. Amen. That's still when he talks to Ethiopia. Yes, Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus. I'm done. Hallelujah. I just need you to grab these last couple things here. That's All important. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. If you're going to pray for a change in the church, do not fight against the change that you're praying for. If you're going to pray for a change in your children's lives, don't fight against the change that the Lord put in. You can't beat them down over their sin every single day and expect a change in their lives. Lord, have mercy. You can't do it. You can't do it. No, sir. You cannot do it. You attract flies with honey. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's right. You can drive them further away. Beat them down. The more you, and some of us wonder, and see, here's my problem. Yeah. Here's my problem. I'm just going to be real blunt and frank, and some of y'all might be upset with me. Please just know I'm just talking to the Lord because I'm just giving the words from the Lord and all I'm doing, all right? Some of us mad because our children don't talk to us. Yeah. Thinking it's all them. That's right. Because I've been telling them what they should do every time I talk with them, and they don't want to do it. 
Well, the reason why they don't come is because you yes. keep telling them over and over. That's right. right. Maybe if we stop and start praying for them. That's right. That's Maybe if we start loving on them. Maybe if we start saying, come on, baby, let's talk about some other things. Because there's a lot of other things that we might have missed in our lives as father and son or as mother and daughter. Or you fill in the blank. Maybe we've got to stop trying to beat down what we think they need to have. And maybe rise the word of God in them. Do love them like God said to love them. Well, Pastor, that's what I do. I give them the word of God, and, and they just keep going against me. No, no, no. no, no, no. There's a way that you do it. Let me tell you something. Else. Let me tell you something about a knife. Can I tell you about a sword or a knife? Mm -hmm. I can take a, I can take a good knife, and I can... Uh, Let's go back to them reels for a minute. I'm hungry, so let me talk about these reels for a minute. I can get a good knife and I can sl slice those reels up in a nice easy Hallelujah, and Jesus. put them on my plate. Yes. And they're ready to go. Yes, sir. I can take that same knife and jill get them and mess my reels That's up and right. they look all ugly That's and exactly distorted. Right. Yeah. Watch this. There's a lot of preachers who are stabbing their members with the word. That's right. Because the word is a two-edged sword. Yeah. We got a lot of, watch this, we got a lot of pastors and preachers who are stabbing and jugging at their members with this sword. That's right. That's right. Instead of remembering that we're surgeons. Yeah. This same knife that we just stabbing and jugging them with. We need to be taking our time and creating lines. Yeah. To make sure and understand that when we are doing surgery, we are healing right. yes, sir. Oh, and not right. tearing you. apart. That's right. That's we right. are healing yeah. and not yeah. breaking stuff into pieces. Yeah. We are healing All right, All right. when we are performing yeah. surgery with yeah. the knife. Yeah. Yeah. See, this yeah. word is meant for surgery, Amen. not for jugging and Amen. stabbing. Amen. Somebody gonna get this today. Because yeah. yeah. I can get up here and beat you down with yeah. this Bible yeah. every day. Yeah. And it's not gonna do you any good. No. Or I can get up here with the same issues you have, yeah. the same issues I have, and I can give perform spiritual surgery on you Amen. with this, this and show you love yeah. through showing you correction. Hallelujah. Showing you love through yeah. showing you reproof. Amen. Showing you love yeah. instead of beating you down. Yeah. And that's exactly what Jesus did that God did to Peter. He got him in a dream and he just simply said, look you're hungry, come that's on, right. eat something, boy. That's right. And Peter said, oh no, Lord. Yeah. Jesus said, what I call clean. He ain't said, what I told you. Did I tell you to do this? Did I tell you to do that? No, 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 no. What my switch at? He ain't do none of that. Yeah. Hallelujah, Jesus. It's time to perform surgery, church. Amen. Amen. It's time to perform surgery. 